Nine days. How do you think he's done? Horrible. Uh, he's kind of a He's uh, really just a liar. Like, pathologically, it's kind of insane. As of just recently, he's done a little bit of work that's not exactly beneficial to Planned Parenthood. We're a little wary of what's coming up. It's kind of scary <laughs> seeing, every, like, um, you know, you wake up every morning and then you see something ridiculous. And I'm surprised that with things he lies about, he has not been impeached or whatever, because, I mean, Bill Clinton was impeached for line. Uh, Trump recently went on uh, what was called an apology tour to countries like Egypt and Saudi Arabia, yeah. basically apologizing for the past eight years and saying, yeah. you know, there's a new sheriff in town, this old stuff's not going to fly. Him apologizing like that to the other countries, is it something that, uh, you know, you would like to see him stop doing? Oh, for sure. I really think he kind of overstepped his bounds. I think he's just trying to fix band-aids at this point, and it's not really working for him, so I think it's a bad thing for him. You know, you have to carry the image of the U.S., and he hasn't done that so well. The people he's apologizing to are not people he should be apologizing to. Saudi Arabia, the Gulf monarchies, dictatorships everywhere. I don't think it was up to him to apologize on behalf of a nation, especially with such opposition to him within the nation. He recently has been talking about a $700 billion jobs plan. He would tax people and then use that money to try and use the government to help create jobs. So is that something that you view positively or negatively? Um, gotta say, it kind of would be a little, definitely a more negative. So how is that going to help us if, you know, he's raising and creating jobs for people that aren't trying to get a higher education? Like Knowing that Donald Trump is the one proposing it probably means there's like some turd in the punch bowl somewhere. Like him bringing jobs, I just don't really see that happening. Using the government to do what states would do, that kind of goes against the whole platform. Really reminiscent of... Um, Wiemer, Germany, uh, when there was a lot of hatred of foreigners taking jobs. I mean, same types of rhetoric. What's the shirt? Oh, this is just a communism shirt, man. Gotta love the hammer and sickle. <laughs> Gotta collectivize the means of production. The final um, thing that Trump has done is he changed some of the statutes of limitations on um, court cases. So um, basically making it easier for people to sue each other. Um, what do you think about that? Um, being in a law class right now, I, I don't like it at all. I think it would directly benefit Trump because Trump is a businessman by cutting down on regulations. He says it's for one reason, but it's just I just don't see him helping. That's pretty upsetting. I also think it's kind of ridiculous how he wants to, he was saying, loosen up the libel laws. Mm -hmm. I think it would make him money in the long run because I don't really think he's in it for the presidency. Like, I think he's in it for his own like, personal gain. There's so many conflicts of interest and unanswered questions there. What if I told you? <laughs> All the things I was asking about were actually things that Obama did in his first 100 days. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Right? Oh, wow. Now, this, what I wanted to really show you guys is, in a way, I think this just sort of, you know, exemplifies or typifies how really woke students are social justice warriors virtue signaling these guys all fall under the acronym that i coined called simmer s-i-m-r they're stupid they're idiotic they're moronic and they're retarded i mean not a single one of them pushed back against the narrative at all and said really but everyone just accepted it as a fact accepted that hey it had to be Trump. Trump apologized. Trump hates America. So, we, I mean, do these kids, they, these, and these people, they freaking vote. These are such low information, no information voters. It's unbelievable. Now, what I, 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 I was fighting myself, trying to contain myself because I wanted to freaking comment. I wanted to, ch -ch 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 -ch. you know what I'm saying? I mean, my goodness. All right. I mean, these guys, you know, it's unbelievable. So I kept my mouth quiet, but now we're going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to try to give my reaction. I will give my reaction to that. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Let's go that right now. First hundred days, how do you think he's done? Horrible. Uh, he's kind of a He's uh, really just... <laughs> this guy here with his... I mean, <laughs> the sickle and hammer, he heard him before. Basically said, you know, Trump's a liar. This kid doesn't know crap. 
and he's and he's been accepted as college. He has nothing up here, and neither does his friend on the right with the Mason Patriots shirt on. I'm surprised he even has the Patriots on there. That could be triggering to people saying, "Oh, you're talking about the Patriots? Oh, how dare you!" And then this guy likes it with a sickle and hammer shirt. I mean, that's akin to wearing a basically a swastika shirt, and nobody calls you out on it. Nobody. Nobody says, hey, you know what? How dare you wear? That's triggering to me. I don't want you to wear it. You're wearing something that's killed hundreds of millions of lives in ideology that's racist, that's bigoted, that targeted minorities and people, marginalized people, people of color, people of different faiths, hundreds of millions of people killed, murdered, and you're wearing that shirt. That red shirt that you're wearing, the color red, is exactly the blood that was flowing from the hundreds of millions of people that were killed under communism and socialism. Unbelievable, folks. It's a liar. Like, pathologically, it's kind of insane. Pathologically. Pathologically. That's, so, right? That's the word. Pathological liar. That's what he is. Obama wasn't a liar. No, he wasn't pathological. He didn't lie at all. He told the freaking truth all the time. But Trump, he's a pathological liar. Same. As of just recently, he's done a little bit of work that's not exactly beneficial to Planned Parenthood. We're a little wary. And now we're talking about Planned Parenthood, obviously, right? Which I call Planned Parenthood Murder Incorporated, basically should be unplanned parenthood murder incorporated but she's wearing the pink probably the unplanned parenthood murder incorporated t-shirt right there of what's coming up it's kind of scary <laughs> seeing every, like um you know it's kind of scary hiccup <laughs> it's kind of scary <laughs> what an unbelievable oh my god let's listen to the airhead speak some more you wake up every morning and then you see something ridiculous. And I'm surprised. You look up every morning and you see something ridiculous. You just look up every morning, you know, read the newspaper, right? <laughs> look at the network news. <laughs> look at your feed from Twitter. <laughs> oh, and now we're getting back, okay, to Mr. You know, communism, Mr. and Mrs. Communism. That with things he lies about, he has not been impeached or whatever. Because I mean, he hasn't been impeached because he's lying. <laughs> and guess what? Was Obama impeached because he was lying, Mrs. Communism? I mean, Bill Clinton was impeached for lying. Uh, Trump recently went on uh, what was called an apology tour to countries like. So Egypt. here's that first accomplishment that they were basically attributing to Trump, and they basically this was actually you know Obama's apology tour. But it wasn't. It was Trump's apology tour. But these guys, college students, supposedly they're supposed to be in the know, right? Because you got this here, and you can just basically Google, and you can find out stuff immediately on Yahoo or, you know, Google or whatever. And they don't know that it was actually Obama that went on this apology tour. They're attributing it to Trump because this reporter just says it is. And they just take the word. How it's unbelievable, folks. Unbelievable. Let's continue. Egypt and Saudi Arabia yeah. basically apologizing for the past eight years and saying, yeah. you know, there's a new sheriff in town. This old stuff's not going to fly. Him apologizing like that to the other countries. Is it something that, uh, you know, you would like to see him stop doing? Oh, for sure. Uh, that guy's a freaking idiot again. Oh, for sure? Would you like to see Trump stop apologizing? Mr. Communism says, oh, for sure? Oh, God. Really think he kind of overstepped his bounds. I think he's just trying to fix Band-Aids at this point, and it's not really working for him, so I think it's a bad thing for him. You know, you have to carry the image of the U.S., and he hasn't done that, so... You have to carry the image of the U.S.? Do they ever watch TV? Do they ever watch cable news? Do they ever watch anything? My goodness, do you see how he pre he went to all these places and he presented himself. In fact, they were saying he was being a bully on stage at the G20 and the G7. That he was trying to get up there to the front, pushing people out of the way. Remember that? 
trying to get, you know, mugging for the camera. Remember they were saying all that? That he wasn't diplomatic enough? That he was talking about the United States too much? That he basically went there and he told NATO? He told off NATO? Apology tour? Did you see the reception he received in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia? I mean, they've that's only been done once. One time, I think it's only, as far as I can remember, in terms of the lavishness of how they embraced President Trump. And then he spoke to those nations and basically said, listen, you've got to do your part in terms of fighting, okay, Islamists and Muslimists and Islamist terrorism that is, that, that's, that's, you know, in part that, that may, that's in your countries. You've got to stamp that up. You've got to help us on that. He went out there basically and the whole media in the United States was so upset that, oh, he's a nationalist. He's talking about America first. Well, what the hell else do you want your president to do? He's got to talk about your country first. He's got to talk about America being the best. Number one, baby. Number one. Numero uno. That's exactly what has to happen. And these guys are basically saying, you know what? He overstepped his authority. And you know what? Unbelievable. Well, the people he's apologizing to are not people he should be apologizing to. Sorry. People, this, not this nit idiot. People he's apologizing to, he shouldn't be apologizing to. Saudi Arabia. Well, it was Obama who did that. Wasn't Trump? Trump went there basically and scolded him in a way and told him, listen, you got to get your act together if we're going to work together as a global community to fight terrorism, both domestic and internationally. Let's listen to some, I mean, you guys heard what this guy was saying here. Saudi Arabia, the Gulf monarchies, dictatorships everywhere. I don't think it was up to him to apologize on behalf of a nation. You're right. It wasn't up to him. It wasn't up to Obama to apologize on the base of a nation, right? It wasn't up to our president. We don't want our president apologizing for us. He needs to keep his damn mouth shut. You keep those things for inside the house, not outside the house. Sure, we got problems in America. We do. But you know what? Let's discuss them within the confines of the United States. Let's not go overseas and tattletale about everything that you don't like about this country, especially if you're the president of the United States. And once again, these guys are thinking it was Trump. I mean, these guys are so brain dead. It's unfreaking believable. Especially with such opposition to him within the nation. He, re he said such opposition to him within the nation. What do you mean such opposition with him to the nation? He freaking won the presidency the hell are you talking about opposition to him in the nation and such opposition to him in the nation oh let's get back to mrs you know unplanned parenthood murder incorporated recently has been talking about a 700 billion dollar jobs plan for you attacks so this is now talking about obama's stimulus package and they're basically saying that this was trump's stimulus package and he was doing it just to enrich himself and to help, you know, big business and to help Republicans and, you know, blah, 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 blah. People and then use that money to try and use the government to help create jobs. So is that something that you view positively or negatively? Um, gotta say, it kind of would be a little, definitely a more negative. So how is that going to Definitely more negative because it was Trump. Definitely more negative. Creating jobs, a stimulus package, right? to create more jobs. And then this girl basically saying, how's that going to help us? Well, you're still in college. Maybe that might help you later on if they're, when they're pumping on, you know, quantitative easing number, you know, 1,585. I mean, how many quantitative easings have we had so far, folks? But again, because it was basically a Trump policy that they think immediately, immediately don't like it to help us if you know he's raising and creating jobs for people that aren't trying to get a higher education like knowing that donald trump is the one proposing it probably means there's like some turd in the see mr communism what is he saying that's because uh trump is uh promoting it putting out there it must be some turd in the punch bowl over there you know it has to be some type of crap going on right 
for Mr. and Mrs. Communism. The punch bowl somewhere. Like him bringing jobs, I just don't really see that happening. <laughs> him bringing jobs? I don't really see that happening. Not from Donald Trump, not from a businessman who's produced jobs. Obama never made a job in his entire life. Never signed the front or the back of a paycheck. But that was Obama, the monarch, the black Jesus of politics. But I don't think Trump's going to go ahead and, you know, create any jobs. <laughs> Using the government to do what states would do, that kind of goes against the whole platform. Using the government? If anybody used the freaking government, it was the Obama monarchy. It wasn't the Trump. He was deregulating as much as he could, getting government out of the freaking way. The stupidity, the idiocy, the moronicity, the retardedness of these students over and over and over and over and over and over again with their idiotic, moronic, stupid, asinine answers is just unbelievable. It's great fodder for us because we can make fun of these idiots. Now, let's, I, this guy here, remember what he said before? He, he basically said that the Trump administration is just like the Weimar Republic, the Nazis? That's where we go, that's where we're going? Really reminiscent of um, Weimar Germany, mm. uh, when there was a lot of hatred of foreigners taking jobs. I mean, same types of rhetoric. What's the shirt? Oh, this is just a communism shirt, man. Gotta love the hammer and sickle. <laughs> Gotta collectivize the means of production. The final. Uh Gotta collectivize the means of production. Got to collectivize the means of production, this idiot, Mr. Com Mr. and Mrs. Communism. I think you got to collectivize the means of idiocy. You have to collectivize the means of stupidity. I think you should collectivize the means of moronicity. How about collectivize the means of retardedness? Because that's all you basically are. You're a collective, you are a collectivization of stupidity. Collect everything around you that's all stupid, and that, sir, is you, Mr. Communism. Let's see if we can hear that stupidity one more time. The final um, thing that Trump has done is he changed some of the statutes of limitations on um, court cases, so um, basically making it easier for people to sue each other. Um, what do you think about that? Um, being in a law class right now, I, I don't. He's in a law class, he's gonna be a lawyer or a journey of some kind, but he doesn't like the fact that this was Obama's order to relax lawsuit regulation. They attributed to Trump, terrible. I'm in a law class and I hate it. Why? Because Trump said it. I don't like it at all. I think it would directly benefit Trump because Trump is a businessman by cutting down on regulations. He says it's for one reason, but it's just, I just don't see him helping. That's pretty upsetting. I also think it's kind of ridiculous how he wants to, he was saying, loosen up the libel laws. Loosen up the libel laws? Again, Mr. Communism, Mr. Collectivism, right? Basically saying that um, this was kind of a stupid idea. Relax the lawsuit regulations. This is coming from Mr. Communism, folks. I think it would make him money in the long run because I don't really think he's in it for the presidency. Like, I think he's in oh. it for his own like, personal gain. Just There's personal so many game. conflicts of interest and unanswered questions there. What if I told you <laughs> all the things I was asking about were actually things that Obama did in his first 100 days? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So that right there was the answer of, oh, wow, we heard at the very end, right? So, folks, I really, really wish that they would have gone to, I was trying to find if maybe they had like another part to this somehow, or, you know, they just didn't do it. Cause this was so great in terms of the, I, like we said, the stupidity, the idiocy, the, just the retardedness of the kids answering their questions and making fools of themselves. I mean, literally these guys made absolute freaking fools of themselves. I'm just wondering if they ever saw this thing themselves. They're probably saying, holy crap, how do I get rid of this? Hopefully nobody sees it. But millions of people have seen this. So the question becomes, 
is that, um, you know, I just, like I said, it was so much stuff here to talk about and to react to. I hope you enjoyed uh, my reaction to what these uh, woke social justice warrior virtue signaling students uh, were saying uh, in, you know, in response to the question that was asked of them. Thanks for watching. We truly appreciate it. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel, like, share, and follow us. Hit that uh, notification bell. And you know what? Comment below, people. Let us know what you think. I'll let you know what I think, which is my final thought, and that is when you're right, you're right, and when you're left, you're wrong. We'll see you again next time, folks. Take care and stay safe.